Hey, mathematicians. Today we're going to be talking about proportional and non-proportional um, relationships and really specifically getting to, into the idea of direct variation. Okay, so we're going to start by talking about proportional relationships. Okay, these are all examples of um, functions that are proportional. Okay, we have a couple graphs, some t-tables, some algebraic ones. So let's take a look. In order for um, a graph to be proportional, it needs to go through the origin. And the origin is where zero, zero meets. Okay. So if, if a graph goes through the origin and it's linear, so straight line, it's going to be proportional. All right. That's how you tell if a graph is proportional. If a T table is proportional, your y divided by your x must be the same for all ordered pairs. So let's take a look. Is 26, what is 26 divided by two? That's 13. 39 divided by three is 13. 78 divided by six is 13. 130 divided by 10 is 13. 146 divided by 12 is 13. So your y divided by your x has to give you the same answer every time for a t table to be proportional. We take a look over at this one. 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. 3 divided by 6 is 1 half. 4 divided by 8 is 1 half, and 5 divided by 10 is 1 half. So because all of those are 1 half, that makes that t table proportional. And then when you look at an equation, it needs to be written this way. y equals the slope times x. m represents slope. So it has to be written with y equals a number times x. So when I look at this, I have y equals a number times x. Now you might say, well, y equals x, there's no number there. If there's not a number there, it's a one. So these are all represents representations of proportional functions. Your x and y vary directly, okay? Now in this next slide, I'm gonna show you some that are non-proportional, okay? So non-proportional um, examples, it's coming, it's slow, it's super slow. Non-proportional means that it does not go through the origin or is not linear. So when I look at these, this one is non-linear, this one's nonlinear. It goes through the origin. It's not linear. It's not a straight line. Okay. It has to be a straight line and it and has to go through the origin. When I look at this graph, it's a straight line. It does not go through the origin. So those are all examples of non-proportional functions. Okay. Non-proportional. In a T table, the rate of change is different. So when I look at this, 4 divided by 0, well, that's going to give me an error. We call that undefined. Okay. 10 divided by 2, that's 5. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 22 divided by 6 is going to be 3 and 2 thirds. So because all of those numbers are different, it's going to be non-proportional. Now, if you do that to see if they're the same, as soon as there's two that are different, you can stop. You don't even have to do all of them. Okay? You don't have to even go through all of them. And notice here, the last one, the equation is not written as y equals mx. Notice how each of these have a number added to it or subtracted from it. It's not just y equals a number, it's 
plus 9, minus 6, okay? Those are all examples of non-proportional. They are not proportional. They are not, um, they don't go through the origin, okay? So your task now is to work on the 6-4 worksheet, and then we will see you in class tomorrow. Bye-bye. See ya.